Hey, hi guys. Welcome to Automation Club. And in this session, I am going to explain you about how to do API automation using Protractor. Okay, so API in REST API, basically four methods are available: get, post, put, and delete. And in this session, I will explain you about get request. So get is basically used to retrieve the data from server. Okay, and to work with Protractor, we need npm library, and I will use Axios library. Okay. So there are other libraries are also available like fetch, uh, HTTP and request. So uh, here I will use Axios and that is npm library available. npm. So this is the official website and yeah, it is famous. Uh, just see the uh, weekly download records here yeah. so we will just uh, install this by using this command and i have created a sample project to go with uh, axios npm okay so open the terminal and just install that you can directly add the uh, dependency axios under dependency section and then npm install okay so that has been installed now uh, you can see here it came now coming to the spec file here create uh, describe and it block here we will go with the uh, jasmine api get request function then it get request test we'll use a sync await to resolve promise why this is showing error okay this is comma fine and for axios you need to define so let me define that axios equals require from axios library fine now to make a get call axios dot get and you need to give the url so here i will use uh, an open uh, api so this is the sample open api which you can use let me go there so this is the sample api available you can uh, do practice on from this website okay so let me use the first one so this is the url for this this is called base uri with combination of base url and uh, parameters and then Sign it in some variable so const response so it will uh, give the response by using axios.get okay and we'll just print it console.log response 
and we have used a sync so use await just to resolve the promise okay and now go to configuration file already it has given and i will just run it protractor configuration dot js okay see it has passed it should show the response or status okay see status is 200 means successfully it connected and it gave the response okay so instead of response if we want to get the status so simply dot status response dot status will give the status of your api and also instead of fetching this whole response in uh, this format instead of that you can use console dot log response dot data just run it yes it executed and now see the response body so this is the response which it is giving and 200 is the status of that fine so this is the response of that request suppose uh, you want to fetch uh, this data so under data there are n number of arrays okay so suppose you want uh, the first one data zeroth okay so for that what you can do console dot log response dot data dot under data there is a data parameter right so data and at zero location okay and also we'll do a validation suppose i want to do on validation by using expect status sorry it's uh, response dot status right so response dot status dot to be so this is used for validation in jasmine and the status would be 200 right run it see the output so it passed and let me comment this whole data i will just retrieve the data under zero position okay So this is how it works see the output now so this is the output at from the response at zero position okay suppose you want uh, this first name validation from this response okay so how to do that console.log or else let me do a validation okay expect response dot data at 0th position or 0th index dot first name 
first underscore name fine dot to be what should be the name Michael okay so this is part of validation run it so there are an n number of combination you can apply and you can do the validation accordingly expected undefined okay sorry there is spelling mistake first name run it yes so it has passed suppose uh, let me fail it give some other name suppose I want to validate if first name is having test or not let it run so it should fail right yeah expected was Michael but it is test so the expected was test and it is Michael you can just reverse the order okay so yeah this is how you can uh, use Axios npm library to automate api using protector okay so in coming videos i will explain uh, post request as well okay yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching thank you